Hello everyone and welcome back to another piston invention. So this time is it's a minecart station using the new dispenser feature. And for the ones who didn't know yet, you can now um, dispel uh, um, actually uh, put minecarts out of dispensers instead of just minecarts items. So let me just show it with this small setup here. Uh, if there's a rail in front of the dispenser, it will eject a minecart and not a minecart item. And that I thought how about using this feature in a minecart station and this is the result. So um, yeah, to give you some info about the station here, um, in our nether system yeah, we had trouble setting up a proper terrain station for our minecarts and this is because uh, the, bas the basic systems are not working there. The uh, first system you would um, probably set up for a fully automatic minecart station is um, that the minecart will be sent back to the station where it came from after it uh, you um, have exited at your final destination. But um, the problem is if the station is outside of the loaded chunks that won't work because uh, the minecart will so just stop at the border of the loaded chunks. And uh, the second system you could try to build is a stack system where the minecarts get stacked at the uh, destination and if you ride back then you will travel back with another minecart and so the stacks should balance each out and each other out. And so uh, as, as I said if you arrive at one station the stack will uh, uh, f filled up and one more minecart will be on the stack but if you travel back it's uh, another minecart goes back to the other stack. The point is um, this system doesn't work if you uh, walk back or travel back uh, in another way than when you are then by, my, by a minecart. And in our nether the problem is uh, if we enter the ends you will be teleported back when you exit it because you just will uh, be uh, resetted back to the spawn point and that's where you have slept last time. So um, this also doesn't work very well. And the, the po point is also that pest dispensers don't work in multiplayer because minecarts glitch through the floor sometimes. And yeah, now I've rambled enough and now let's show this system here. So this is working as follows. Um, if you arrive with a minecart, um, you have to put the minecart in back into one of the dispensers. And uh, the system behind that is there are just s there's just so many space in the dispensers that it actually actually doesn't matter that you have to refill the dispensers from time to time because there's just enough space in them and you can carry lots of minecarts in your inventory uh, back so if one of the stations fills up uh, you just grab um, uh, several minecarts out of the dispensers it it's can be done pretty quick with shift clicking and put them back into the other station. Uh, so the difficulty was as there are minecarts dispensers can only hold nine minecarts yeah, to make a system which uh, uses several dispensers and only injects one minecart at a time. Yeah, and this system does exactly uh, this thing here. So if I'm uh, ejecting a minecart here, another one will be resetted here. So you can just enter the minecart and the next person can step in here without grabbing, having to grab one from the dispensers. And as soon as one of the dispensers gets empty, the piston tape here rotates and selects the next dispenser. So to show you that, I will just empty one of the dispensers at the moment. Um, the center one at the top is selected. So, oh, there is actually no more insights. So if I now uh, press the button, you can hear the sound. The empty dispenser didn't send any minecart and therefore the piston tape rotated one time and now the next um, dispenser is selected and yeah to I will now open the ceiling so you can see it in action. Oh um just remember to not destroy any blocks which are needed. Um yeah let's let's see if, if we can get only very few minecarts in here. One second um Okay, so the tape, now there was still a minecart in there, uh, it will rotate and yeah, still another one. 
if the uh, tape is completely empty, it will rotate at infinitum. And that's uh, to prevent this. I just have um, added this uh, uh, stop button here, and uh, yeah, then you have just to refill it. So you have seen this time it rotated twice. And let's do it a few more times until it's completely empty. So now you see the uh, dispensers are all empty. And uh, yeah, this also shows a bit how the system is working. The golden blocks uh, around the dispensers here just um, yeah, select which um, dispenser is activated because every time you send a pulse through the button, um, the signal yeah goes to all of these inputs here. And if there's a golden block in front of it, it will actually power a dispenser. And at the same time, if the minecart ejects, it will uh, yeah roll over this pressure plate and uh, yeah, tell the system to not um, uh, rotate the piston barrel. And if it's not uh, ejected, then it will rotate the barrel. And because the uh, setup here is a bit difficult, but actually not too difficult, I will just uh, give you a download link. And I think that's the best way to figure out how it's built. Uh, it's um, yeah, it's not too many redstone stuff, you can see it uh, basically everything from here. Uh, but I think it's pretty cool and it's a nice way to use the new feature in the game. And so I hope you enjoyed and see you next time.